Oh, no, son, that's not the way it is. You kids today are nothing but punks. Sensified. So quick to pick up a gun. You're scared to take an ass with it. to the movie. You yeah! <laughs> Put the phone back on the charger. How much percent you? It's your boy Busy Gang Robin. Today we're talking about the 15-year-old girl that got killed in Lake Charles, Louisiana. Got stabbed to death by two 13-year-olds, one 12-year-old and a 14-year-old inside of a Walmart when they was fighting. Now that shit is out of fucking pocket, bro. I got a motherfucking eight-year-old and a mother—I mean a seven-year-old and an eight-year-old, bro. A seven and eight-year-old, bro. How the fuck would you feel, my nigga, if your motherfucking seven and eight-year-old got stabbed inside of a fucking Walmart? Over a disagreement with another little girl. Keep it real, my nigga. Where the fuck is the parenting at, my nigga? Fuck that shit, bro. The kid, we gonna hold the kids accountable. But where the fuck is their parents at? When kids do shit like that, 12 years old, bro, parents should be held accountable in some type of way or fashion, bro. Because, nigga, what the fuck, my nigga? Nigga, bro, when I was 12 years old, nigga, we was fighting. If we was fighting, we wasn't going out looking for fights and shit, though. You feel me? Wasn't going out doing dumbass shit looking for fights. Those little girls was in that motherfucking Walmart looking for fight, to fight that other little girl. And they say this shit uh, it spilled over from some shit that happened at the movie theater, probably over a little boy or some shit over over who had the high the the, the nicest uh, pair of shoes or whoever looked at me the wrong motherfucking way. Some little kid shit. Everybody knows some little ass kid shit. But now that little ass girl lost her motherfucking life, and those other four little girls are going to jail for a long time. They might lose their motherfucking life. Depends on depends on depending on the fucking st the state they in and the motherfucking laws they got placed in place in that state. Those little girls can go to jail for the rest of their motherfucking life, just like a motherfucking adult, or get the fucking death penalty. It has happened, bro. Look that shit up. Now for those four little girls that's going to jail right now, bro. You heard if you listen to that video, bro. Them are some little ass kids, bro. But in the begin at the end of the video, I heard them crying like some little ass kids, like some little girls. That's what, them some little girls at the end of that video crying and shit. Running and screaming. Now, in the beginning of that video, you're talking about where my mace at. I need to call Brandon and get my mace. I need to get my taser. What the fuck? Them sound like some 30-year-old bitches. You feel me? That's out in the hood, bro, trying to go jump and stab motherfuckers and fight bitches and shit after the club and shit. That shit all come down to the parenting, bro. Motherfuckers got to do better, bro. Motherfuckers got to do better, bro. Period, fucking point blank. Motherfuckers got to do better. Nigga. Hey, bro, when this shit actually get big and they go to trial and shit, they gonna have the motherfuckers, par th th their parenting is gonna be on trial too. They're, those kids' parents, parenting is gonna be on trial, bro. 
CPS stepped in, everybody gonna step in. You gonna start hearing everybody come out the woodworks, how all these little girls, great little girls, and they just got caught up. Man, hey, man, that shit played out right there on social media. They could be great little girls, and, they, and it was a mistake. I'm pretty sure that was a fucking mistake, because if they can go back now, now they're sending themselves, and they know what it feel like. I'm pretty sure now they know they ain't about that life, you feel me? They know they don't want no parts of that shit. But now it's too late for that. And it's too late for the little girl that lost her life to come back. It's your boy Busy Gang Rob. Like, comment, subscribe, and share, man. Comment down below. Do y'all think the kids or the parents should be held accountable? And what the fuck did y'all think about that video, man? Like them little girls, bro, they had that shit all, the whole thing was premeditated. If it was on video like that. They say they stole the knives, you feel me, when they walked in the store. So they stole the knives, walked around the store and prepared to find the, hit an owl, hit whatever owl and found the girls. And you can see in the video, they found the little girls down there and they was telling them to come outside. But they was waiting inside till their sisters pulled up or whatever. So they had the knives tucked. And as you can see her, she put her arm back. So she probably hit her in the neck somewhere, you feel me? You, know, you, you, don't, you don't punch in the stomach. And even though she had the knife in her hand, she was swinging with the knife, so she probably stuck her in the neck. But you know, with your adrenaline punch, pumping and shit like that, you punching, you really don't feel that shit. So y'all like, comment, subscribe, and share, man. Y'all comment down below. Let me know how y'all feel about this situation, bro. This shit fucked up, bro. This shit got to stop, my nigga. Them is low-ass kids, bro. You feel me? Y'all niggas, man. Hey, y'all be safe out there, though, bro. Hey, for sure, defend yourself, man. Kid or not, bro. Kid or not. Adult or whoever. Defend yourself. Nobody want to be on the, end of, uh, the losing end of that motherfucking stick. You know what I mean? My prayers go out to the little girl that lost her life. My prayers go out to the little girls who got to go fight that motherfucking, uh, fight this fucking case now. Because they might lose their life, too. It's your boy, Busy Gang Rob. Y'all be safe. I got to walk Smokey down to his house. Oh, man. Your mother and I never would have moved in this neighborhood if we had known you need a gun to walk down the damn street. You know how it is around here? Oh, no, son. That's not the way it is. You kids that did nothing but punks. Sensified. So quick to pick up a gun. You're scared to take an ass whipping. This is what makes you a man. When I was growing up, this was all the protection we needed. You win some, you lose some. But you live, you live to fight another day. And you think you're a man with that gun in your hand, don't you? I'm a man without it. Put the gun down. Come on, put up your dukes. Now you're a man.